I used to be, I had no self-discipline. I had no self-control. I would party all the time. And this is when I was about, about 14 to 16 years old. So that's what got me into all the trouble with the juvenile. And I won't go into detail about all that, but we all have our younger days, you know. But I, I definitely, I, I, I don't have time for that now because I, I understand that on this earth, my time is limited and I just want to use my time to chase this goal and this dream of what I have for my life. Well, when I was growing up, I was always into martial arts. I was an Olympic fighter, basically, in Taekwondo. I, um, I started getting into a lot of trouble, and I ended up in a juvenile facility for two years. And I got picked on, and the only way I could get my confidence up was by working out and trying to get stronger and defend myself. Now I see fitness taking me to places I never dreamed of. I remember when I was growing up, I always used to read, you know, the muscle magazines and looking at the, you know, the, the Ronnie Coleman's and thinking, wow, those guys are so strong. They, they must know everything about the body. You know, I want to be able to turn my body into something like that. And I always looked up to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger was the man. saved my life and that's why I believe I connect well with other people and show and, and showing them that it can affect theirs too and potentially save them as well you know I don't know if you remember but you asked me my first session what's your goal and the answer because this was at the end of the session the answer I gave you was I just want to be able to finish a session. <laughs> yeah, when we started, I, I, I weighed uh, 207 pounds. And, uh, you know, off the scales uh, Sunday morning, I was uh, 179 pounds. My body's a lot more toned now than it was. And uh, uh, I'm not carrying all that extra weight around. And it, it, I just feel better every day. You know, I have a whole lot more energy now. Uh, I'm able to, to go out and do things that uh, I could only do for very short periods, you know, outdoors in the summer and that kind of thing. I, I, get, I get tired, I get overheated, and uh, I just am able to do so, so much more physically. You know, my back, whenever I first came to you, was, it was in knots all the time. And, uh, one of the great things that you've done for me is, is to help, help me to strengthen my back, strengthen my core, and I very rarely have any back problems now. It's amazing, the, the yeah. transformation. It looks like it ended up thinner, but the real transformation has been what's inside and the way that I feel. I would say the first step was building myself. I had to learn how to build myself before I could build others up, if that makes sense. Um, so I took a lot of, it was really, selfish time you know I was reading I was educating myself I was working on my own body and that took me a good two to three years to get to a place where I felt comfortable with helping others so then I started getting that education um, and I started personal training at a, a box gym and I started finding that I, I, I meshed well with people I could relate to people I understood their problems I didn't think I was better than them and since I was relatable they would listen to me and they would trust me and I got a lot of clients that way. Um, as I started giving more to others, I noticed that my life enriched and I started gaining a lot more when I gave I think to that others. That I that's what actually so got me to owning my, my own gym. Because, being personable. To, yeah, being personable and actually caring about my clients. Yeah. My client was the one who introduced me to my investor, you know, and I had no idea that they had money. I didn't, I just wanted to help them. So they didn't see that I had an ulterior motive. It wasn't about money for me. It was about that I really believed in the fact that I had a skill set and I could change and save people's lives with that skill set. No doubt about it. 
about it. Whenever somebody's really trying to look for self-transformation, you've got to really be about yourself during that time. You can't have other influences pulling you in this direction, this direction, and this direction. You've got to cut all of that off and you've got to listen to your inner thoughts, your inner mind. And it's selfish, yeah. you know? It takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of focus. Um, but in that time, you start to develop the skill set that it takes to transform. And when you have the power, you'll be able to apply that to others and you'll be able to enrich others' lives. It won't be selfish at that point, you can be selfless. Yeah.